Hey guys and welcome back to another edition of Nintendo Impact Gaming. I am Barry Dunn. What time is it? It's playtime. And here we have another edition of the Mario Kart 8 playtime series. And now we are on to the 50cc. Okay, who will I choose today? Hmm. Alright, let's go with Shy Guy. Guys, what's your favourite card for this game, if you have the game ready? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, what's your favourite combination, you know? Your favourite tyre? Your favourite parachute, like, you know? Let us know in the comment section below. Just here showing you off a glimpse of, you know, different uh, points, you know, the speed there. Okay, so we are on to the Star Cup today. As you can see, if you didn't see the video, I will leave links to the Mushroom and the Flower Cup of the 50cc series, excuse me. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so the first level is the Sunshine Airport. Guys, I'll say it again for the millionth time, if you haven't got this game, buy it, it is the best Wii U game yet for the system. If this won't make you get a Wii U, what will? This is a great level, uh, level design, you know, for lighting. Uh, it's great visually, but you know, the lighting on it, you know, the shadows, you know, the, the playing that, you know, the water effects, the clouds and that, it's really nice. And the sound effects are brilliant too. Guys, we're doing some research here, and uh, we are nearly a week away from E3. And next Tuesday, I will post my uh, what I think we will see at E3. And when E3 is over, I will also be doing like an after show, you know. I suppose you know what my uh, my impression was of E3. I know Nintendo aren't doing a live conference, unfortunately, but they are doing another digital live stream if that makes sense basically they're going to show off a, a package video like a one big hour long video how long the video will be whatever it is 30 40 minutes 50 60 whatever and uh, the guys over at game trailers have their top 10 e3 train wrecks okay so number 10 they have posted a battle tag which is a Ubisoft game at 2010. Number 9 is Wii Music, which is Nintendo 2008. Oh shit, Blue Shell. Uh, number 8 is Rock Revolution by Konami in 2008. Uh, number 7 is Mr. Caffeine by Ubisoft in 2011. Number 6 was Battlefield 4 at the Microsoft conference 2013, just last year. Number 5 was uh, Sony's 2006 overall conference. Uh, number 4 is Konami 2010. Number 3 is Disney 2007. Number 2 is Activision 2007. And number 1 was The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword 2010. 
by Nintendo. I can remember watching that there uh, from four years ago. You know, looking back at it there. And... I'm not sure whether I agree, maybe I could... I know uh, Wii Music wasn't... I have the game, but at the time when they showed it off, it wasn't the best presentation, I suppose. Okay, so the next race here, guys, we are on the Dolphin Souls, if I'm correct. One of the great things about this uh, game uh, is when you register the game on Club Nintendo, you also get a free game. So, in the UK you have a choice of 8 games, which I registered the game at 10 o'clock, well a minute past 10, because it had to be from 10 o'clock in the morning a.m. Uh, the day it was released there last Friday, this Friday excuse me. Uh, I downloaded my game and uh, the list for UK games is Nintendo Land, New Super Mario Bros U, Game and Wario, uh, Pikmin 3, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, Sonic Lost World, oh shit, Blue Shell again, <laughs> uh, Mario and Sonic at the uh, Sochi 2004 Olympic Winter Games, sorry if I said that wrong, Sochi, uh, Anyway, We Party You, The One for 101, and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which I downloaded because uh, I have Nintendo Land. Cool little game. Uh, but funny, my favourite game on that was actually Pikmin Adventure. I had New Super Mario Bros. U uh, when I got the Wii U at uh, the Christmas that came out. And to be quite honest, guys, like I'm a huge Mario fan. And that game just bored me. It really disappointed me. Oh, guys, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, as you're watching here, when you know, go up that there hill, just like the visuals of the reflection of the water, you know, just to show, show off the dampness on the, on the ground. Just beautiful. Uh, game Wario, something uh, like that. Pikmin 3, I have. And they, up uh, excuse me, they updated the game there on Friday. To, uh, for people who are going to download the game, who have downloaded it, another Blue Shell there, and BAM! Done. Um, what was it saying? Yeah, they did the game, uh, same touch kind of scheme for Pikmin Adventure uh, in Nintendo Land, which I'm happy about. I haven't played it in ages, but. I will be playing it again soon, hopefully. There's my Zelda, gonna work at HD. I have that. I have two copies of, the, of that game. Uh, I'll explain that later on in an unboxing video, and you'll see why. Sonic Lost World, and. Oh yeah! First! Sonic Lost World, which. does not look good at all. It's like a. I think they're kind of going for the kind of the galaxy kind of feel to it, but Super Mario Galaxy. But no, it's not for me. The uh, Olympic Games are not into them at all. We party you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, that game when you buy a physical copy, it comes with a Wii stand for your uh, Wii U gamepad, so it can stand straight, lie down straight. Sorry, so I'd rather get a physical copy. One for one or one. Really underrated game for the Wii U. Great game. I haven't played it like you know uh, in a while because I've been playing other games. You know, been really busy. And uh, Monster Hunter Three. I've turned it on. Uh, I haven't created a profile, but 
I will be having to go with that there later on. And in the States... You have... Uh, a selection of four games, which is pretty unfortunate, I think. For the guys overseas. And the four games you can pick are New Super Bros. U, Pikmin 3, uh, Wind Waker HD, and We Party U. But, it, like, guys, where's that list to the UK list? Fuck's sake, just about. Uh, it's really bad. Yeah, great games, but. Still bad, though, I think. Guys, what does Mario Kart mean to you? Which is, uh, what is your first Mario Kart experience? Uh, let us know in the comment section below, sir. Just nice to get, you know, because I've been playing it since pretty much the start when it came out. Uh, years were like, and the first game came out in '92 for the SNES, and they released. The N64 version as well after the next console. Yeah, also, in other news as well, uh, hold on. That was nice. Ah, uh, sorry, before going to the other news. Uh, uh oh, shit. Yeah, this is what it's. This level, it kind of reminds me of a an electronic kind of level of Rainbow Road, you know. Has very different colors, you know. Look over here on the left. Probably see. Oh, no, you won't see. You'll see. You'll probably see it after or something. Uh, dancing, piranha plants, bouncing up and down, with different colors. Like, it's pretty cool. What I've seen in the videos, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's cool. You know, it, it, different levels. You know, the whole gravity thing. You could be flat, I suppose. You know, on the ground, literally, and someone could be above your head, like you know, like right now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and other news from uh, looking at MyNintendoNews.com Nintendo apparently supply constrained uh, the Wii as was losing money on each unit sold. Sorry there. Uh, hold on a sec, I'll read it after this. See there from the left? Steady. And first! Wow! Yeah. Okay, so in quotes, uh, quotation marks, Nintendo, for example, supply constrained the Wii in its launch window. That strategy was not in order to create uh, sales hype, as it was often accused of, but rather because the device was losing money on each unit sold. Had Nintendo fulfilled demand completely, it would have taken a huge operating loss. By waiting, it got to hang on for manufacturing costs to fall before supplying the demand in the market. Here we go, we have Mount Wario. When I first looked at this level, uh, I was getting the feeling, you know, when uh, like all the Nintendo Directs and stuff, I was getting the feeling they got the inspiration from Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. That's how I feel about it, but let's see how it goes. Oh, you just look at the surface there, you know, the flex and that. Seriously. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, some more E3, E3 news, sorry. If you look at the E3 Insider, they have a listing down for the Wii U, surprisingly, is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, there was an image leaked. If you look at uh, someone went through the website, it's kind of cold, if you get me. Uh, look at the. There's a way of looking at files, you know. And, and the image was a. There was an image there that had the Wii U listed down on the same image. Image. I can't see image anymore. Yeah. And uh, so hopefully we'll see something at E3 from Nintendo. Fingers crossed. Guys, what do you think about uh, the items in this game? Do you think it's fair? Like, you know, the blue shell being used, uh, you know, by the AI. How do you feel about the AI in the game? Is it smart? Is it too easy? You know, uh, the gameplay, the, the controls, like, how do you feel about it? Nearly there. Keep dropping. Guys, this here was a real ski slope. Ski slope, I do it. I was skiing in Austria, uh, and seven, I think it was. And then one of the black men, fucking amazing. <laughs> there you go, guys. Sixty points. So fingers crossed, we get the uh, full three stars. Okay, so let's see the results. <clears throat> okay, here we have some replay action, I suppose, on MKTV. Mario Kart TV <laughs> Yeah, does anyone know what Psy Guy's face looks like? He's wearing a mask. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh yes, there you go. You have unlocked special cup and a new character. Oh, 200 coins too. No. Pretty cool though. Okay, so let's go. Looks pretty, the gold, isn't it? I like gold. Okay, so let's take a look anyway. Rosalina. Cool, Rosalina. Yeah, so uh Anyway guys, thanks for watching as usual. Thanks for all the uh, support. We are now on 50 subscribers, which I'm really happy about. Uh, so let's hope we get to 100 now soon enough. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment in the section below. And as always guys, for everything Nintendo, make sure to stay tuned to Nintendo Impact Gaming. Good luck!